has mirrors in the room. Uh, can mirrors be like part of those layer two cues? Look at yourself in the mirror, you know, for lunges, make sure that you know, your front leg is parallel. Look at yourself, make sure your hips are square. Take a second, you know, don't only look at me, look at the mirror as well. Um, what, what are your feelings about the mirror? Yeah, it, it, as long as you can find a, a, a useful application from, from what you have in, in the room, feel free to use it. If, if, if you see people are going to respond to to those cues, like, so let's say, and, and I'll give you an example, and I'm going to put the, the body pump program first. So if I am coaching from the front and I see, okay, well, people are moving at different timings, which, which it's something that, that usually happens when, when they're not used to it or, or when it's a new class. So if the room has mirrors, something you can do here is everybody take a look at the mirror. We all move together. That is a fantastic way to use the mirrors now because now everybody can see, oh, shit, I want to be the first one up. <laughs> or you can start to be more playful with your coaching. Like try to be the last one standing by looking at the mirror. So that is a fantastic application too, like if, if you feel comfortable using it. Then if we go to the body combat space, similar. If you see, uh, if you see people throwing jabs and they're not rotating from the torso, you can coach everybody. Take a look at this. Rotate from the torso. Take a look in the mirror. Are you doing it? So again, like you, you start to become versatile with how you coach the visual learners by using what you have available in the room.